here I am there's a rope the, the, this uh, are you able to notice there's a medium one a wave pulse is generated who will generate that wave pulse this particular thing there's a rod there's a rope one rope two suppose i'm doing an experiment i don't have sufficient length what i do i will take two ropes which are having different linear density this will become medium one medium two now the wave is I, i'm saying this is a denser medium so how, how you can say there's a denser medium you can look at from here denser and this is a rarer what do you mean by rarer here mu2 greater than mu1 so how, how you can say denser rarer any reason where the speed of the wave is less it is said to be denser where the speed of the wave is more it is said to be rarer and and there's a boundary that they end up there on there okay are you looking at the two strings so we we have like this now <coughs> what will happen to this wave when it arrives at the boundary so it is moving from rare to denser medium so practically what will happen is a part of wave will be transmitted it was moving with a speed v1 and other part of the wave will be reflected Now, why is sir you are putting same speed because where the wave is in the first medium only so the speed depends on the medium so therefore the incident wave and the reflected wave should have same speed the transmitted wave is in other medium so therefore it should have different speed okay let this amplitude be ai amplitude of this will be ar amplitude of this will be at so what is this transmitted pulse okay fine so what was our question i want i wanted to know how much of amplitude will be the transmitted wave will have how much will be the reflected wave? these things are to be determined for that i am trying to derive some theoretical ideas okay shall we proceed now this one for that uh, th there's a boundary i'll call this a boundary what do you mean by boundary boundary or a junction where the two ropes you are going to join them that will become a boundary okay let's get, come into one by one when a wave moves from one medium to another medium what will happen to frequency frequency of a wave will not change and we know frequency due to reflection will not change am i right so already long back we have discussed with what frequency a wave is incident on a medium with the same frequency to be reflected okay there is a one thing when a wave moves from rarer to denser the wave can move from denser to rarer also possible I'll write capital letter. This is a rarer. This is a denser. Okay, that whether it's a less or right, that we have to prove. We cannot guess. Eh? We we should not make a guess. We should derive that one. I don't know whether it will be less or more. It has to be derived. You no. Know? okay similarly let me go for another situation where
no 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 this a denser medium this a rarer medium the same thing the value what was there mu2 linear mass density let it be mu1 so an incident wave of amplitude yeah is in there uh, now what will happen to the transmitted pulse yes it will be there as it is just just write at amplitude or or if you show like this what will happen to reflected pulse will will, will not be inverted huh? Now you have to ask questions, sir. Why you are not showing inverted? These are the two very important diagrams, sir. They just do make observation. Uh, why this should be inverted? See, this is one property of a wave. When a wave incident on a boundary, a part of energy will be transmitted, part will be reflected. I am saying wave, anything. Whether mechanical wave or non-mechanical wave, transverse wave or longitudinal wave, this is a golden rule. Please do accept here. So why some energy will be transmitted? This is a property of wave itself. This is a nature's rule. Finish over. So you let's not question why some energy will be reflected or will be transmitted. This is a property of nature itself. Getting the idea? So when a what will be the wave? Mechanical wave, non-mechanical wave. Longitudinal wave, transverse wave, anything. I'm just saying the wave. Wave is nothing but energy, no? So when an energy incident on a boundary, part of energy will be transmitted, part will be reflected. That's all. There's no further question on this one. Okay. Now that there's a transmitted pulse. What will happen to the transmitted pulse? It will not have. It will not change phase. What was the phase of the incident pulse? The same phase it will have. Of course. Uh, what will happen to frequency? Frequency will not change. Speed depends on medium. So therefore, I'm writing V2. Agreed. Now come for amplitude. As it will be different than that of incident pulse. That we have to find out whether it's a more or less. I don't know. Uh, what about reflected pulse? The wave is reflected by denser medium. What we discussed, no, earlier it was like a some sort of ideal. No, this is a practical thing. A part of energy will be transmitted. The reflected energy will be, the reflected will be inverted. Why? Because reflected by denser medium. Why? Why this is a? Why this is a erect? Why this reflected pulse is erect? Why this uh, reflected pulse is erect? Because it is reflected by a random medium. Transmitted wave again will no no phase change. Will have same will will have speed that depends upon the medium and will have same frequency. Put it like this: the frequency. So what is the con conclusion now? We can make it. What will happen to frequency of wave when transmitted? Will not change. What happened to frequency of wave when reflected? Will not change. I agree this. What happened to phase of a wave when reflected? May change no because when reflected by denser medium there will be phase change. When reflected by rarer medium no phase change. Got it. So there's one basic idea is what we are supposed to conclude here, and what happened to amplitude? Yes, it will change. So that that depends upon the whether reflected by a transmitted or that one. So these things we are to supposed to calculate. So either these are the two possible things are there. Either the wave will move from rarer to denser or denser to rarer. So still, still, what is the condition? Mu two greater than. So what do you mean by denser? Where the speed is less, called as denser. Where the speed is more, it is called as a rarer medium. <clears throat> okay, I'll define now the boundary conditions. So what are the boundary conditions? Uh, what will be the net force on a boundary? What, what, uh, where is the boundary for us? That particular joint, no? Where the two ropes or the strings are welded, the boundary. So what should be the net force on a boundary? Should be zero. Any reason for that? Okay, we'll we'll. Take like this. So this would be tension the rope. <coughs> so 
what is the tension mg t minus mg equal to zero uh, why tension must be same if tension is not same okay i think you are doing this in a lab if the net force on boundary is zero non zero what does it mean it will accelerate i think see uh, let me not talk more scientifically eh? just uh, uh, i think uh, sometimes to hang close sometimes a given rope will not be sufficient then what you do two different ropes you are going to uh, one one rope will be connected here other rope will be connected and the two ropes you are going to put a knot what happens to that knot will it accelerate no it will be there only no the same thing here if the knot is the joint is there only net force should be zero for the net force to be zero what is the tension here that should be the tension already we know in laws of motion we have discussed situation of like this how much of tension here the same tension should be there even when a pulse is arriving here not only this even one pulse is arriving i'll i'll, I'll show you this is something very important here so now also what happen if you go and check it no there is a boundary okay agree this so what is the tension that is acting the tension will be same got the idea no this is a rope one it must be same no otherwise uh, it cannot be possible then so first thing here the net force on the boundary should be zero that the first uh, important boundary condition i'll put it yeah? the net force boundary must be zero then the displacement on either side of junction must be equal so what is the displacement here it is due to superposition of these two incident and reflected pulse what about here the displacement is only due to transmitted pulse so it is very simple i will i will rather than troubling you with any other thing let me just pick up this one so what is the displacement of this point you are going to write is it okay what all displacement here is due to this transmitted pulse what all displacement is there only due to incident and reflected pulse so these two should be equal no so therefore so what we write is yi plus yr equal to yt it's a algebraic sum this is something very important it's a algebraic sum as uh, are both are erect okay you took positive one erect other inverted so it should be negative uh, i think I, i'm saying algebraic sum huh? it, it is algebraic sum so what is that plus sign the positive sign indicates it is an algebraic sum finish short not like additive and then uh, no loss practical let's assume that no loss so how much of 10 joules per second is incident then say some 6 joules got transmitted remaining 4 joules will be reflected so what is it to energy energy will be conserved so the third point pi is equal to pr plus pt the incident power should be equal to sum of reflected plus transfer this is nothing but the law of conservation of energy principle for no loss at boundary so the the, the signs i think I'll, i'll take it to next page next page yeah? because this will be 
because sometimes they may ask you this as a theoretical question for you. <coughs> the net force on a boundary must be zero. What, what is the meaning of this? Tension in. Both the strings must be equal. Okay, then then what is the meaning of the second part? The displacement. Must be equal. Then incident power must be equal to sum of sum of reflected and transmitted power. Okay, these are the boundary conditions uh, which they are defined. So rather than mathematically, you know, I just wanted to conclude in simple way. We know tension in both the rows must be same. Tension in both the strings must be same. From laws of motion concept, so net force on the boundary should be zero. Then third point is conservation of energy principle. Third point, second point is superposition principle. Got the idea? These are called like a boundary conditions. Okay, now with the help of these boundary conditions, I can find out amplitude of reflected and transmitted. Okay, let me write it. The second one. So as this is given, what is the amplitude? What is the equation? Wave equation. E I sine omega t minus k x. The reflected one. E I k one. You write it. What is the transmitted pulse? A T sine try to see this K one K two why K one K two anybody? As the wave moves from one medium to another medium, as the wave moves from one medium to another medium, what will happen to speed? Speed changes, frequency remains same. Then wavelength should change. No, we do write like this. F equal to v one by lambda one. Okay, I agree. Try to see this. Two pi by lambda one, two pi by lambda two. So K one K two is what I should bring it here. Now let let me define. Let the boundary define it x equal zero. Means what do you mean by that? Let me let me define this particular point. For our convenient purpose, I brought it. Otherwise, lot of mathematics we have to go through to make it simple. Let the boundary be at origin at x equals zero. For for mathematical convenient, we are assuming it. So what happened? Non zero. We can solve. Lot of maths will be involved to minimize mathematics. We assumed it. So therefore, this will become AI. Sine omega t then what is the next equation incident power is equal to reflected plus transmitted what is the incident power formula
mu 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 one s omega square a i square b two am I right? Reflected wave will be in the first medium only mu one <coughs> omega square a r square v one by two. So let's assume that both the ropes are having same area of cross section. So therefore, S S what happened? I am assuming let area of cross section of ropes be equal. So therefore, the S will remain same. So what will end up? Mu one A I. Let's try to solve these two. Uh, we know what is V1. Let's go back something we have very good data we have. What is the speed V1 we can write it? Uh, this should be V2. Huh? I, I made collection V2. V1 shall we write T by mu1? Because tension must be same, no? If tension is non-zero, this point will accelerate, but practically will not happen. Am I right? The joint will be there, will be at rest only. So things got simplified, no? So therefore, V1 equal to this much, we'll write it. So the next expression will be mu1, uh, mu1, mu1, I can write it as V1 squared. Sorry, t, t by V one square Let me call this as equation two. Solving one and two, we'll get the expression for AR and AT in terms of what is known thing, AI will be known. So AR, AT, let, let me express in terms of known things. So what is value of AR, AR will be? Amplitude of reflected pulse, amplitude of transmitter. So when you solve one and two, no, we'll end up this equation. So what is AR I should call? Amplitude of Got the idea? So I, I, any doubt, you can just uh, raise it. I will justify, sir, why you are writing yi plus yr only. And I'll... Okay, now uh, shall I'll, I'll go for okay. 
Okay, fine. Everything. Okay, let, let, let's discuss this problem. Uh, let me take one situation so that it will be easy for you. What all we did, no? So we have here. Yeah.